Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Today's video is not a turning video, but it is something every woodturner need to learn. And that is how to cut a log to a bowl blank and how to properly seal it f so it doesn't crack. This is not a video how to use a chainsaw. It's not a safety video or anything like that. So if you use a chainsaw, be sure to read the instruction and maybe get a professional to help you or to learn how to use a chainsaw. It is a very dangerous tool. When that's it, what I always do before starting to use the chainsaw is checking the bar and the chain and then I will sharpening the chain. It's like when you use your lathe, you don't go to the lathe with dull tools and the same goes for chainsaw. If you have never sharpened a chain for a chainsaw before, then I would suggest you go to the local tree surgeon and ask him politely if he could teach you how to sharpen a chain. They uh, have a good touch on it because they, it's their job so they can teach you that pretty fast. And it's a good way to start talking to them so you maybe can get some nice wood. A good trick is to bring a small bowl or something you have made and give them that for their trouble. I got this oak log a couple of weeks ago and I didn't get around to cut it uh, right away so it has split a little at the end so I always take it down so I don't have any uh, cracks at the beginning. The reason for this is when I end seal the end seal will close off the end better if there's a large crack at the end. The way I determine how wide a piece is going to be cut is to take the diameter and add 5 cm or 2 inch. This log was a little shorter than it was supposed to be, so I had to go down to around 33 cm a piece. If you look at the rest of the log now, you can see there is a piece where a branch has come out at the side of the log. I always try to get that in a piece because it gives some very nice grain when you turn a bowl. And I've got to say in the beginning, the saw I'm using is a very cheap saw. It's not something expensive. It's a 45cc, uh, $120 saw. So the chain on it, on the other hand, is a uh, little more expensive than a normal chain so it cuts very good and it lasts very long. So before cutting the log up to blanks I will find the pith and I will find it in both ends because it doesn't necessarily has to go straight through the log. On this log here it goes pretty straight through. When I have found the pith I will check for naturally cracks already started and you can see in the middle I put some lines in and there is starting some small cracks so I will align it as it lays here. And then I made two other lines and they are the width of the pith I want to take out and in this uh, here I will take around one and a half two inch on each side. And here you see me marking out 
the blanks I will get I will get two pole blanks nice uh, size pole blanks and I will get uh, two other blanks for either spindle turning or other kind of stuff uh, pen turning or whatever you can use them for so four pieces and one for the burn pile as I said before the pith don't necessarily need to go straight to the wood if it doesn't you can do two things you can make a blank that is a little bit larger in one end than the other end or you can make the middle part wider and get some uh, larger spindle blanks and wood from the middle part I will start with uh, marking out the lines I want to follow and then I will start the cut it's important to try and hold your saw as straight up as possible then the middle part will be uh, more useful than if you have a very uh, thin part in one end and a thick part in another end it can be hard and takes a lot of practice and i'm not very good at it yet the chain i use is for normal cutting and have an angle of 30 degrees and it's not the optimal chain for cutting wood in the, this direction if you need to cut a lot of wood I will suggest to buy a rib chain it has a little fewer teeth and it's uh, cut, cutting in 10-15 degrees and it's designed to cut wood in this uh, manner but for a hobby turner like me I don't do this uh, maybe four or five times a year I can do fine with the normal chain as you can see here I made the cut in one side around 95% through and the reason why I didn't cut all the way is because I need the stability for the whole log to do the number two cut and then you can see I do one cut here all the way through and then take the other cut the middle part I normally do on the bandsaw but you can easily cut that too with the chainsaw and here you can see it blank one, blank two, and then the middle part three and four, and the fifth is for the burn pile, the pith. You can see here. That was the cutting up of the log, and then you need to seal the end of the log so it doesn't crack. And in Denmark where I live I use something called Hydro Wax C. I haven't seen it on any foreign pages but I know there is a ton of products for this so you can ask in the local wood merchant or where you buy stuff like that but of course there is two very cheap options to uh, use and they work very well I have tried them both you can buy some cheap acrylic paint and it needs to be acrylic because that won't let the the moisture through or you can go to the wood merchant and buy some very cheap carpenter glue and mix it with water around 40% water and 60% glue and then use that mix and give the ends of the logs with that that will also seal the end uh, pretty nice so you don't get any large cracks remember to mark the logs with the date you have cut them up or the month at least and the year so you know when it's dry it takes a log like this uh, a couple of years to dry out and you can of course use uh, wood columns and you can rough turn them and all the stuff you probably already know Otherwise, you can find videos about that on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell below. And please comment in the comment section. That will greatly help my channel to grow. Have a nice day and stay safe out there.